At the opening of its new media lab, MIT showed off green urban transportation work. The different vehicles are known as the Smart Cities Project. One such vehicle is the city car, a compact vehicle that can carry two passengers. Four of the electric vehicles can fit in a parking space that would normally accommodate only one traditional automobile. The version you see here is a half-size scale model. So imagine different stacks located throughout different nodes of the city, uh, shopping centers, airports, subway stations, where you could easily rent one of these vehicles, run your errands, and then just drop it off at another convenient location. To allow the city car to take even less space, MIT researchers designed the car to fold in half, pulling itself out of a low profile and giving it a smaller overall footprint when parked. The urban-centric design is also echoed in the technology designed around the wheels. We have what we call wheel robots, where you have each wheel with a drive motor, suspension, and steering built into one unit. That allows you to not only free up the design of the vehicle, but also turn each wheel 120 degrees. So the vehicle has a lot of freedom and moves around almost like we do as people. You can move forward as the traditional vehicle, you can translate sideways, spin on a dime, uh, and just have unique movements which are very important in a very tight, congested city. While the city car might be a few years off, MIT is already set to release another product within the next year. The green wheel is a completely self-contained electric motor capable of around 30 miles per hour that snaps onto the bike you already own. Your traditional electric assist bicycle, you put a motor on the back, you have to have a battery somewhere on the frame, and you have to wire all that to a controller on your handlebars. Not that easy. Uh, what we're doing is we have a central motor surrounded by uh, lithium ion cells and the control system all built in a, a, a disc unit that snaps onto the back with the wheel on it. MIT researchers said that the green wheel seen here is an earlier prototype, with the production candidate packing twice as much power in about the same space. They expect it to go on sale within the next year for around 1,000 U.S. dollars. Reporting from the MIT Media Lab, I'm Justin Meisinger, IDG News Service.